Welcome back to another video of Fish in Downtown Denver where the tug is the drug. And today I'm over here at this lake looking to get into some of these pre-spawn bass. And I'm going to be using a variety of different baits today from that worm on the jig head to that Spro rock crawler and a bladed crankbait and also a jerk bait by Mega Bass. So let's get out there and see if we can make it happen starting things off with that worm on the jig head and uh, I noticed that there's a big bass that likes laying underneath this rock to stay warm or maybe that's its bedding ground but we're gonna try and get them here Got him. He's a nice one, guys. He's a fighter, too. Because we keep him on here. Oh, All right, so I'm all hung up. Hold on one sec. Wham! There you go, guys. With that worm on the jig head, he was right underneath that rock, and uh, I was just jigging that worm, and he came out and smacked it. So let's get him back in the water. Man, that's a nice bass. All right, putting him back. And uh, he was right up underneath that rock. And like I said, just jigging that worm, he came out and smacked it. Boom, and he's off. All right, let's try and get us another one of those. All right, guys, so I'm gonna do something with this uh, worm on the jig head here. I'm gonna use it like a top water, like a top water frog. See if we can get something to follow it. And if I get something beneath it, just make a whole lot of pouncing and hopefully it'll come up and get that. So let's see what happens here.
right. We got one, guys. I don't know how good this one is. He feels pretty good, but he's also in the slot. Not bad for a uh, top water blow up, huh? Get him here. Oh, geez, he got me right in the face. Ugh, fat little guy. Woo wee. All right, let me get him unhooked and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, not too bad on the second day on our hunt for these uh, pre spawn bass. And bam, I just got this guy. That's a pretty nice bass. And uh, we were just throwing that worm on top of that slop and just slowly crawling it back to us, uh, trying to get a topwater blow up and found a little hole and was moving it and this guy blew up on it. So let's get him back in the water. Again, with that worm on the jig head. All right, releasing that bass right there. That's a good one, guys. Here we go. And he's off. Bam. All right. So uh, we're going to hunt around, uh, do a couple more throws here. And if we don't get nothing, we're going to go to the next spot. Well, it's day three, and I'm back over here at this pond, and I'm going to put a spin on things. I'm meeting up with my buddy Frank from Frank's Fishing Adventures, and uh, we're going to try and get into some of these bass by using some night crawlers and some artificial bait, so stay tuned. All right, so Frank showed up, and we're ready to get in these bass, and he's using a galt minnow on a jig head, and I'm using a live worm on the jig head so we're gonna see what we get yeah. heck yeah i guess i just didn't realize just how many uh panfish were here those are a lot of different panfish species dude i've seen like the bluegills the green sunfish Look at that, all that ruckus for a dang bluegill. Oh my god, guys. Jeez, I mean, it is definitely pan city over here with these fish. Jeez. Why can't we just get a bass? That's all we want, guys. Oop. And there he goes. Oh, they, that's a good one right there. Oh, oh, I got a bass. Yeah. Got a bass, guys. Oh, yeah. Bam. It's small, but we'll take it. Yeah, I'll take anything at 
this point. Damn, let's go. Look at him. He's got, a, he's got a nice fat belly on him. Good job, brother. Right on, dude. On a real worm on a jig head. And it worked for us. I ain't cool. See, dude, like right when it starts getting like around this time is when they start hitting. I swear to God, because I came out here at the same time, bro. And I got that one. See? And I flick in. I threw in in the open water that way and let it just lay on all that slop and I just kind of bounced it a little bit and he freaking, he grabbed it, bro. Okay. Hell yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to get an underwater release on it. All right, go. He took off quick. Heck yeah, dude. That's a huge sunfish. Dude, I told you. I told you there's big ones, bro. Dude, I told you. Holy crap. He just caught a good sized sunfish. Look at this, guys. Oh my god. Good job, Frank. Check that out. Nice sunfish, guys. I thought it was a little bass. <laughs> it's fun. That's right, that's what I'm saying, bro. My first one and he's a little peanut <laughs> yes good job cody right on yeah oh he's a pretty one bro yeah those pumpkin cheeks are pretty i think they're called pumpkin cheeks look at that oh, oh, oh. yeah those are beautiful those are also on Berkeley lake that's crazy I know if you know it's a small fish. Oh, look at that, you got him, dude. <laughs> Dang, that's a good one, too. Let's go. Check that out. Dang, look at his orange belly. Nice. <laughs> Man, beautiful. Got him on the black sunscreen with the earth. Shit, Frank's kicking my butt. He's getting into him, guys. I better uh, pick up the pace here. Well guys, it's day four and I'm back over here at that pond because the bite definitely is tough out there. And uh, I'm gonna try and get another bass out of here using that worm on the jig head. And we've already caught two nice sized bass using it. So let's keep the good times rolling. Looks like we got a bass here, guys. Ugh. Get him up. Ugh. There we 
go. Got us a bass. Woo wee. All right. And there he is. Not too bad. He's a pretty nice one right there. A short fatty. Let's take a better look at this guy. Well, not too bad, guys. A nice one with that worm on the jig head there back here at this pond on the fourth day. And uh, on the third day, I met up here with Frank from Frank's Fishing Adventures. And uh, the bass weren't biting, but the panfish were, and he whooped my butt 23 to my three. But uh, day four, they're back to biting, and we're getting them. So let's get them back in the water. All right, releasing that bass, and uh, there's really no good spot, guys, because uh, it is slopped up over here. But uh, I guess we'll release them right here. goes he took off all right so i mean it's that easy guys each day we were using that worm on the jig head and uh we got a nice size pre-spawn bass so you know if you guys like this stuff and you're learning something smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh that's gonna wrap this one up guys well, that's going to wrap this one up on the hunt for these pre-spawn bass. And we were definitely getting into them using that worm on the jig head. And on day three, I met up with my buddy Frank. And uh, we were trying to get into them bass pond fishing. But they just weren't cooperating. But the pan fish were. And I'll tell you what, he whooped my butt, guys. And if you haven't checked his channel out, it's Frank's Fishing Adventures. He's a great guy. He's been putting out a lot of great content lately. So go check him out, subscribe, and subscribe to this channel, guys, because I've been putting a lot of great content out myself, and I'm going to continue putting it out. So smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.